welcome to the Mitas Euro Cup series from the Brander Pulling Arena in Denmark. This is the first event for the new season. All the drivers have gathered together. The traditional drivers briefing, just to make sure with the rule changes for the season and everybody's set up for the competition. Taking place over two days with five full classes, there are over 80 competitors from seven nations at this year's Euro Cup series. The traditional presentation of the drivers before the start of the competition. Quite a large crowd here, eagerly anticipating the start. Thank you to all you drivers. Please go back to the pit and make your tractor ready. The first class up today are the Pro Stocks. Diesel powered machines generating in a region of 2,000, 2,500 horsepower. People to watch out here for current European champion Runaway Deer, Euro Cup champion One Trick Pony, and of course first to the line here, this is Rocky, driven by Baron Hybrex, former Euro Cup and European champion. Nice run to start with here for the class. A couple of test pullers are coming back later on. So that's our first full pull from Rocky. Tractors are in competition now, so let's see what happens with the rest of the class. Full pulls are required. Now our second Dutchman, this is William de Vos, driving his machine Extreme Temptation. Case Magnum. I say these machines, single turbocharger, diesel powered, wheel speeds up to about 80 or 90 k. Another nice run there from Williams, slightly off to the right hand side. As we look at the replay there, just coming up short, 94 metres and 95 centimetres, slightly down the right hand side. Not quite enough this afternoon from Extreme Temptation. Now, new guy to EuroCup, and this is Gert Stessens with his machine Diesel Ross. He's from Belgium. Can see how he can get on his first competition this season. Nicely away, little high at the front. Seems to have it all together. Oh no, something happened with the turbocharger by the looks of it. Just have a look on the replay, you can see there. Shut down 79 metres and 42 centimetres. A slight problem with the turbocharger. So, Rocky's still there in the lead there with the full pull. Next to the line, this is first of the British competitors. This is Mike Simmons driving Ice Bear. Ultra base machine. One of five or six in the class today. See how Mike gets on. Played quite well, a little high. And then something up with the engine. Also losing some ballast there. I think that's the fire extinguisher gone, so unfortunately he will be disqualified. Yes, not Ice Bears Day. Mechanic's just having a look and it looks as though there's a fairly serious engine problem there. We'll have to look at that, come back for another day. Well, that's the end for Ice Bear today. Next man to the line, this is our second British competitor. And this is Ted Nicholson, driving Rough Justice. International based machine here. Been competing for a number of years, current British champion. We're looking to see what he can do in this first round of competition for 2015. Most of these guys will be looking to leave the line somewhere about 6,000 RPM. Get a lot of wheel speed. Hope the tractor hooks up and away. A little bit of rock and roll there from Ted. Slightly short. Final distance for Rough Justice. 93 metres and 14. Enough for third place at the moment. Ted seems happy with that, coming back on the return lane. Now, our first Finnish competitor from the Hurlevy pulling team. This is Pekka Hurlevy with his machine Sigma Power. 
Later hood work compared to Ice Bear we've just seen, the older Valtra. Here's a new with the new styling on them. A little bit of a quiet year last year, but Packer seems to be going quite well today. Not quite enough for the full pull, and 96 metres and 9 centimetres for Sigma Power. Enough for second place at the moment, so they're all trying to catch Rocky. Rocky the only tractor with a full pull. This is the next lady to the line, and this is Renata van Riet with her tractor Blue Hazard. Dutch competitor from Marde in the middle of the Netherlands. Yeah, new competitor to Euro Cup this season. See how she gets on. Quite nice balance. Not quite the wheel speed of the bigger tractors, I don't think. Yeah, just slightly short. Final distance there for Blue Hazard, 90 metres and 89 centimetres. She's very happy there, coming back down, waving to the fans. Nice to see new competitors all the time in the Euro Cup series. Crowd appreciating her run. Now, this is the current European champion, and this is Kawe Runaway Deer, with Wilco Brooks at the wheel. Finished the season really on a high last year. Successes in the Dutch Championship, European champion in France. Now let's see what he can do on the Euro Cup series this season. Nice balance there from Runaway Deer. Lots of wheel speed. Seems to have it all together. And there we are, second man in the pull-off. So we will have a final. Rocky from the Netherlands and Runaway Deer. Now joining him with a second full pull. Third place, currently still Sigma Power. Well, it's a McCormack XTX um, Pro Stock. Uh, we bought it about five years ago. Um, uh, we had a good season last year. We ended up Euro Cup champions. Um, so hopefully we can do the same again this year, but uh, it's going to be a tough class. What have you done to the tractor since last year? Uh, changed oil and we blew the tyres up. So absolutely nothing. We thought if it's, if it's not broke, we won't fix it. So uh, hopefully we've made the right decision. And what do you think about the track here in uh, Wander? Well, I think at the minute it's a little bit wet. It's, it's a hard track, but uh, Hopefully, when there's been a few tractors, it'll, it'll improve slightly. So here we are, our third Englishman, Rob Uphill, one trick pony. Lots of RPM, nice onboard shot there from Rob. Slightly down the right hand side, just had to correct it, I think. Final distance there, 95 metres and 73 for Rob. You can see just the correction, bringing it back in, that would have cost him metres. Um, well, it's a difficult track, it's, it's pulled us to the right. Uh, we had to dab the brakes, um, got our back straight and just cost us a little bit of distance, I think. How do you feel right now? <laughs> uh, ask me in about 10 minutes when I come down. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, no, it's pretty, it's pretty nerve-wracking until you get going, but once you're out there, it's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, there's still a lot of good tractors to go. I think we're in fifth place at the minute. Half the class gone, so fingers crossed we'll see a top 10. Now, former EuroCup champion. This is Rasmus Hoyen with his machine, John Deere 2. Local guy, so there'll be a lot of uh, support in the crowd here for him. Nice start from Rasmus. being bogged down. Really heavy sledge setting here today. These guys are really struggling to get it out the end. Final distance of 95 metres and 74 as we see some on board. Quite a nice run there from John Deere. Not quite enough to make the final today. Oh, I'm happy but I'm not uh, satisfied with the results but uh, we must try again next time. Can you tell me about the pool? Yeah, the, the track is heavy and the sled is very heavy, so uh, if you have to break a little bit, you lose your speed, so um, yeah, that's a game. 
Now the second Finnish tractor from the Hurleby stable. This is Johanna Hurleby on the machine she calls Doris. Your brother and your father are driving uh, as well. Uh, how much do you talk about tractor pulling in your family? Is there anything else than tractor pulling? <laughs> no, not just kidding. Of course, it's our daily life, so it's a, a way of living. So it's a lot of talk of tractor pulling, yeah. They work 24-7 with the tractors. Don't you ever get tired of, of tractor pulling? <laughs> If you talk, um, if we are talking about me, I live three hours from from the workshop, and I'm not uh, on the daily basis in that business anymore. So I'm not tired of it. <laughs> Have you done something to your, tr uh, your tractor to get ready for today? Yes, a lot. Because uh, last year was not so very good for us. So we have worked our, uh, during the winter, but today is the first competition, so we hope for the best. Well, let's see what she can do today. Looks to be a pretty nice run down there, nice onboard shot. Just spinning out there before the full pool line again. 96 metres and 93 centimetres. So enough for third place currently. They are Johanna's fairly happy waving down the crowd as she comes back down. Seems to be running a little bit better this season already. It went okay. So now I just have to wait and see the rest of the tractors and see if I had enough or not. Now I'm on the third place so far. Now the Swedish flag. This is the next new tractor to the EuroCup series this season and this is Green Dragon driven by Roger Svensson. Tractor originated in Denmark. Now under the Swedish flag. Let's see how Roger can get on. This is first EuroCup. Nice balance down the track. Just being dragged down again at the end there. Final distance of 93 metres and 83 centimetres for Green Dragon. Swedish flag fly well, so he's fairly happy. Now we move on to another Dutchman, and this is Daniel Vrins with his machine Neighbours Nightmare. Nice run, I think this is going to be close for a full pull. at the end there. Not quite enough I don't think. 99 metres and 61 centimetres. Lifts him into third place in the overall standings. Little shake of the head there from Daniel. I think he was looking for the full pull. And another new tractor for the EuroCup this season. This is Mud Patrol from the Netherlands driven by Gus Kukelberg. Beautifully turned out tractor. Let's see what he can do on the track today. A little high at the beginning, but settled into the run now. RPM's fairly good, but once again, this track is very heavy today. Sledge setting is quite mean, and a total distance of 97 meters and 26 centimeters. Now, a brand new tractor. This is Next Sensation. The Voltra tractor is brand new. We built it last winter. The new T4 series from Voltra. So it's our first test, so we really don't know what's going to happen. What are your expectations for today? How do you think you're going to do? It's really going to be a surprise. I mean, to be honest, uh, it never runs before. So. We try to keep it uh, together as the main target. What do you think about the track here in Vande? It's very difficult because it's uh, not easy to find the grip and to keep the tractor in the right position uh, as all the, the other uh, competitors. So as Julian said, totally new tractor. Let's see how it goes the first time down the track here at the Euro Cup in Branda. Looks as though to be quite a nice run. Have a look from the side there we can see 96 meters and 70. So fresh out of the box this tractor, no graphics on it yet. Doing very very well, enough to put him into sixth position. Yeah, Jurian smiling quite happy with that run there for a new tractor. Now the last EuroCup competitor, we have one local national tractor after this, but this is the third tractor from the Hurleby team. This is Mad Croc Caesar. 
with Matty Hurlaby. They would have been watching the other two tractors. Let's see if they've changed anything on the setup. We can get Caesar out the end. Yep. Just enough there, I think. Yes, full pull. So that's our third finalist. Rocky, Runaway Deer, and now Magrock Caesar. So we have our podium. We just have to decide in which order. Last one today in this class, and this is John Deere, 4250. And this is Stefan Kartensen from Denmark. Tractor originated from uh, England a few years ago. Running in the Netherlands for a couple of seasons. Been sold to Denmark. Nice run there from the John Deere. Very, very close to the right-hand line. These tractors, you only steer them with the brakes when the front of the tractor's in the air, so you've got to be quick and be on it. Now, three tractors in the pull-off. Rocky from the Netherlands. Kauai Runaway Deer from the Netherlands. And our one finished competitor, and that's Mad Croc Caesar. So, first man to set the distance in the final, and this is Baron Heubrechts on Rocky. International machine, always very competitive. Nice balance there from Rocky. Consistent engine RPM spinning out there. 96 meters and 70. Sledge is made a little bit heavier for the pull off. So, distance to beat 96 meters and 70 centimeters for runaway deer. A lot of RPM off the line there. Super balance from Kawe runaway deer. Super run there from Wilco, 102 metres and 17 centimetres taking the lead. Crowd appreciating that run there, very quick, very fast run down there from Runaway Deer. Wilco very, very happy with that. So, final tractor in this class to run, this is Mad Croc Caesar, Matty Hurlevy. Or Johanna being interviewed earlier on, saying that hopefully the tractors are running better this season. Well, the brother's in the final. Let's see what he can do. Nice balance there. Not quite enough. Going to be close. And a final distance there, 100 metres and 36 centimetres. Good enough for second place for Matty. Final confirmation of the results then in the Pro Stock class. First place, Kawe Runaway Deer. Second, Mag Croc Caesar. And rounding off the podium, Rocky. So the first results from the Mitas Euro Cup Series 2015 from Branda. The next class in the Mitas EuroCup series is the 950 kilogram modified, or the mini modifieds as they are affectionately known. 12 EuroCup tractors and 5 national tractors joining the class at the end. Everything slightly smaller, but the principle is the same, weight transfer sledge, lots of horsepower and 100 metres to cover. Three years ago we built this tractor and we sent it over to the USA and we drive some events over there. And so um, we were pretty successful over there. We won one pool and we take some second places. And last year we decided that it, is, uh, it costs too much time and money, everything to, to fly over. And so we find a new sponsor, Hella, from the Lightning Company. And um, we make it yellow. It's completely new. I look not, I need a new driving shoe, but that came in later. And um, we, um, we have a kind of brother competition. And so um, I will compete with my brother. And as Gert said, about half an hour before the event, somebody's picked from the crowd, they select heads or tails, and determines which of the two tractors the two brothers drive. So it's totally independent, they have to make sure they set them up as good as each other. And now we're going to see who the winner on the day can be. 
This is Gert Dingering. Saw him interviewed earlier. And this is Heller Lambarda, the tractor he was on about that was running in America as well. Most of these mini modifieds, V8 configuration, lots of horsepower. Norway the struggle is keeping it on the track. Look at the replay there, you can see you're out of the track. A little bit of damage there by the looks of it to the steering, so we'll see if they can fix that in the pits as he's the test puller. Next to the line, this is our Swedish competitor, this is Per Nilsson with Burning Baby. Let's see how Per gets on. A little bit lower with the chassis. Oh no, going quite well. Blow belts off the front of the tractor now. Let's have a look at replay and you can actually see it's the charger that's failed. Lifted there and that's the drive gone. Meanwhile back in the pits looking at Hella Lambarda. See if they can get it fixed. Yeah, I had the test pool. I was the first uh, tractor. Um, I just came out of the beginning. I just give a little bit of uh, gas and uh, I get from zero to one centimeter directly at grip. And the front end, the front wheels came up very high. Uh, normally when you give more gas, the nose goes down, but now it goes higher and then I lose the grip on one wheel. So that happened and then it was uh, a jumpy uh, pull. Okay, having said they're all V8 configurations, here we have a V12. And this is Gompi from the Netherlands. René de Bruyne driving. Unfortunately, something not right there with Gompi, shutting down 35 metres and 12. So we're struggling a little bit to get a decent first run off one of the tractors here. Let's see what the next man to the line can do. This is Cougar, again from Sweden. And this is Robert Anderson at the wheel. Quite a nice run down the middle of the track there. Very heavy setting by the looks of it on the sled. Final distance of 77 metres and 86 centimetres. They are, that's Cougar into the lead at the moment. Distance for them all to catch. Now, slightly different setup. This is a turbocharged V8 on here, and this is Swedish Iron Toy, driven by Olaf Roth. Slightly different sound to the engine there. Seems to have it all together. Not quite the distance of the Cougar. Slightly short, 68 metres and 24. Enough for second place at the moment. There's lots of strong tactics still to come. Now, one of the top competitors from the Netherlands, and this is the Riddle. Driving by Eric van Assel. Put an area. Lots of RPM, very quick off the line. Nice balance. And this is going to take the lead, I'm sure. Final distance there of 96 metres and 18 centimetres for the riddle. Super graphics on the back of the tractor there. Eric very pleased with that, into the lead. The guy who goes fast on the throttle is at the moment going, uh, coming at fast. Only the thing we had an only problem. So I didn't get what I want from the tractor. So maybe next time. What do you think about the track? Oh, it's, a, it's a good condition, but you need to anticipate on the track and uh, it's okay. Now, second tractor from the Putten area in the Netherlands, and this is Little Bandit. Kuzan van Hovelin at the wheel. Looking for a good start to the Euro Cup series this season. Very strong tractor, relatively new, so still finding the maximum horsepower from it. Slightly 
super run today there from Kazan right down the middle of the track. Yep, enough to take the lead. 99 metres and 79 centimetres for Little Bandit. Now this is Gert Dingering's brother, Wim Dingering. And he's on the second tractor from the Lambada stable. And this is Gencon Lambada 8. Both of these tractors running Brad Anderson motors. Very, very strong. Lots of horsepower. Unfortunately, it looks as though that's got away from him today. Because they're very light, these tractors, it is very, very easy for them to overpower and get out of the track. You can see the results there. He has to get off the throttle, and that's the end of his run for today. The track that was too high uh, in the front, uh, it's a very difficult track. And with another one, we have the same problem when we change on this one uh, the thing, but not enough. So, uh, not a good start from the season. So, how do you feel right now? Not so good. <laughs> Hopefully, we can do uh, no, with another one uh, something, but for this one, it's not good for the Euro Cup. Next to the line, this is Butter Let's Try from the Netherlands. It's an uh, VA new century uh, engine. It's running on uh, methanol and uh, it has about uh, 2,000 uh, horsepower. We uh, rebuilt the whole engine. There were a lot of broken parts in it, so uh, we have uh, put a, a lot of new parts in the engine. So let's see how Oscar gets on on his first run with his new parts. Looks to have it all under control. Nice run, not quite going to trouble the leaders, I don't think. Nice view there, see the throttle linkage moving from the onboard. 92 metres and one centimetre. Enough for third place on the podium at the moment. One more tractor to go in the Eureka. I think uh, the pool was good. Uh, maybe uh, we had uh, to put the, the hook a little bit higher because the front of the tractor stays a little low. But uh, if I see the other guys with uh, wild runs, I'm uh, glad for so far. Okay, last tractor on the first run here. This is another V12 machine. It's a V12 Allison in a Rene's Mission Impossible. Driver, Rene Gertz. Sounding engine, but seems to have it all together today. Not quite as much wheel speed, so I think that's going to cost him. Final distance there for Renault Mission Impossible. 76 metres and 89 centimetres. Slight correction back across the track. Renault there quite happy with that. Puts him in fifth place at the moment. Only our test puller, Hella Lambada, to come back. Let's see if Gert can keep that horsepower under control this time. Very lively tractor, this one. Top competitor. Quite a tricky track today here at Brander. Once again, a little frustration there from Gert, but you can see. Very rough ride, one wheeling it. And a final distance of 27.73. And I think you can see that's the end of the day for Hela Lombarda. Gert just explaining to the team what happened in the run. And there we have the final result. Little Bandit, first place. Riddle and Butters Let's Try in third. The podium completely dominated by the Netherlands today. Winners from the Mitas Euro Cup Mini Modifieds. Now for the final class in the Mitas Euro Cup series today, we go up the weights. And this is the light modified class. Based around a 2.5 tonne machine, 
Big sledge is back on. 16 machines entered today. Big variety of engine configurations in the light modified class. Super class to watch. Now our test puller. First one to the line. This is double screaming. And this is actually Gert Dingering driving this tractor. Driven it on a number of occasions in the past. Let's see what he can do at Branda. Looking for a full pull. Very strong tractor this. Two Brad Anderson motors at the front there. Lovely shot of the throttle there. Full throttle all the way there. Go on. Confirmation, full pull. The sledge is also set. So the tractors are in competition. Finally a full pull. How does it feel? Uh, that's uh, kind of, I don't know how you say, but uh, before I have to pull, it was not so... Um, it's, everything is between your, your ears, so um, I know I can drive this. Uh, I drive many years also this one, so um, it's difficult as you have the tricky track, and then uh, with them with big wheels, it's so easier. I know about that, so I make the decision to drive by myself. And uh, if you're asking why I drive this one, uh, this is our main sponsor for many years, that's from the Bobcat team, the double screaming team. They built another 2.5 tractor and Barry is the male driver of this tractor. But um, the family Boer say it's in, the, in that family it's not possible that the father and son drive together. And so they asked me to drive this season the 2.5 class. And so um, it was a good welcome. I drive it early in, in 2010. Just, uh, after two years I'll be back in the two motor class. So, um, I'll be happy. Because now we go for the hard results today. Next to the line, and this is from Germany, the tractor they call Green Monster. V12 Allison powered. Frank Lehum at the wheel today. Runs in both the light modified and the modified class with the second engine on. We're experimenting with superchargers on the front here. Just a little blip at the end there, but enough for a full pull. Just corrects back. Full pull, Green Monster. Now Frank's happy with that. Now from the Netherlands, and this is Ultra Light, No Limit. Driven by Gerard Jonkman. Chevy's on here. Nice run, seems to have it under control. Oh no, and something's let go at the end of the track there. Just made it through for a full pull, I think. We have a look on the replay. Oh no, I think the front engines has died on him. That's not a good sign, always with the bucket comes on the track. I think that's probably his end of his pulling today. Yep, Gerard just explaining there that I think it's over. So he won't be returning for the pull-off. Next to the line, this is Rocket Science. Jack Steinen at the wheel. This is a DAF, Alky Burning DAF machine. Nice run there from Rocket Science. Super full pull. Lovely graphic on the back of the tractor. Jack's quite happy with that. Into the final now, three tractors. I mentioned there was a lot of variety in this class, and this is no exception. This is a Curtis Wright radial engine on this tractor. And this is one of our local guys, and this is Oil Addict, driven by Dennis Yule. It's totally different configuration to what we've seen so far. Aero engine, you can see on the front there, Curtis Wright. Runs extensively in the Danish competition, now in Euro Cup. Lovely run there from Oil Addict. Spinning out, full pull. The Danish fans will be happy with that one. Well done, Dennis. 
next to the line is another Dutchman, and this is Toyn de Jong, with his machine he calls de Jong Special. And on here, two V12s, they're Rolls-Royce Meteors. Very competitive normally. Super head on shot. Very straight there from De Jong Special. Just lets it run towards the right hand side. No stress, all pull. Now, Museum's power. Tractor from Norway, and this is Niels Omer on board. And unfortunately there looks as though something's let go. Tractor dropping there, 49 metres and 91 centimetres. Now, Green Spirit 7 from the Netherlands. Stephen Thomas at the wheel. This is a Rolls-Royce Griffin. Lots of RPM off the line. Quite high. A little bit untidy, but I think he's got enough. Yep, just confirmed his full pull, but he won't be quite happy with the balance on the tractor, I don't think. A little bit of strain on the front axle as well, I guess. Well done, Stephen. We'll see you in the final. Uh, it's a Green Spirit uh, number seven. It's our test tractor. We have uh, another tractor with two of these engines, and with this tractor, we do a lot of tests. And now we had, we had a very good run, but the tractor was coming too high, but that's, the, the engine was running well, and that's the most important thing. Now we have our second Norwegian competitor in this class. This is Jonas Umar with his machine, never satisfied. Methanol injected machine here, and this is an international. Gets on. Just hear the little stutter as the fuel and the boost come. Super run there from Never Satisfied. Let's have a look at the head on shot. The tractor in the final. Ah, that's what they were looking at on the track. A little bit of repair in the pits, I think. One of the exhausts has just popped off. And this is a former European champion, multiple champion. This is Black Power, one of the local favourites here from Denmark. In the pits. It's not good news, unfortunately, for Paul Aige Hansen. It looks as though they're taking the tractor away. So, unfortunately, not able to get to the track today. Now, another Dutch competitor. This is Woody Woodpecker. Driven today by Ron Nuitin. Very similar setup to Never Satisfied. International harvester engine, multi stage turbocharging, methanol injected. A super run there from Woody Woodpecker. We'll see him in the final, another full pull. Two machines left to run. And again, a different engine combination here. And this is a turbine setup. This is Russian Roulette XL. Isaac Lutein at the wheel. So let's see how Russian Roulette gets on today. Nice balance there. Quite high but consistent. Nice full pull. So that brings another tractor into the pull off. One to run in this class. Isaac looking very happy with that. We'll see him back in the final. Now, last one to run today, and this again is a local tractor. This is Triple X. Yannick Gertz at the wheel. So, full pull required to get in the final. 
just see the daylight starting to creep away here in Brander. Enough time just to make the final of this after this tractor is run. Nice run from Triple X, but not quite enough horsepower. Oh no, and then something letting go at the end. Looks like a cylinder head blowing out or something. A lot of sparks. Whoa, super fire show there, but unfortunately not so good for the rear motor. A little bit of a fire, methanol fire you can't really see going. Looks as though the track official's got more over himself than the actual tractor. But everything's out now. So in the pull-off there, total of 11 machines. Unfortunately only 10 in competition as ultralight, no limit, was unable to come back to the track. So, first man in the pull-off. This is Gert Dingering with Double Screaming. Very strong tractor in the Netherlands. As I said earlier, Gert's been driving this for a number of years. Second tractor was due to be here, didn't get finished on time. So we'll see that later in the season, hopefully. Lovely onboard shot there. You can see the two motors working together. Distance of 85 meters and 85 centimeters. That's the distance to beat. Now German flag flying, that must mean green monster. Let's see what Frank can do this time. Quite a nice run in the first qualification. We'll be testing a lot of things with the charger on the front of the tractor. Oh, and it looks as though something's given way there. You see a little puff at the front there, and I think that's probably the charger. Yep, mechanic's looking at that. So a final distance of 27 metres and 21, the green monster today. Now, Jack Steinem with rocket science. Methanol injected DAF lorry engine, basically. Aggressive off the line, but away now. Not quite as much wheel speed as double screaming. It's coming up slightly short. 75 metres and 90 centimetres for rocket science. Enough for second place at the moment. Some good tractors still to come. Now, local favourite. This is Oil Addict. The Curtis Wright Radial. Straight away in the air off the line. Struggling with this heavier sledge in the final. Not quite enough. Just behind Rocket Science there with a final distance of 75 metres and 37 centimetres. Now, Toyn de Jong with the de Jong special. Lovely fire show there as the evening draws in. Lovely balance. Be close for the lead. Eighty-six twenty-four. So taking the lead, Young Special relegates Double Screaming into second place. Join so very happy with that. Now our interviewee, Green Spirit Seven. See if they've sorted out the balance a little bit. The engine's certainly sounding strong. Nice balance in the first run, a little bit of rock and roll. But all together, this could be close for the lead. Confirmation there, 86 metres and 93 centimetres. Just over 70 centimetres between the first and second now and Green Spirits in the lead. Crowd still packed here on the side. Stephen very happy with that, just been told the distance. Now this is the man to beat still. Now truck power. Klaus Larsen from Denmark. Twin turbochargers on this unit.
Just shutting down there, 60 metres and 27 centimetres. Engine doesn't sound too healthy there. Maybe a slight problem for him. Never satisfied back. So distance to beat there, 86 metres and 93 centimetres. See how Never Satisfied gets on. Nice balance. Slightly short, I think, there. 83 metres and 86 centimetres. Enough for fourth place so far. So, two left to run. This is Woody Woodpecker. Nicely off the line. Just running out of horsepower, we think, there at the end. Not enough to trouble the leaders, but 80 metres and 88 for Woody Woodpecker. So our final tractor. This is Russian Roulette XL. Let's see if it's turbine time. A little bit out of shape. No, Isaac shuts her down. A little bit of a knock there, I hope he's okay. 52 metres and 5 centimetres. So there you have the results. Green Spirit 7 taking the victory. De Jong Special in second. And the final podium place for double screaming. Yeah, we are very happy with the results. We never expected that we can win from uh, two V8 engines. Why do you think you won today? Um, it's so new. Uh, we changed a lot this winter. Uh, we put a lot more uh, change on the fuel system, so we don't know why, but it helps a lot. So as we watch the final podium, it's goodbye from the Mitas Eurocup Series here in Brander. See you next time.